Welcome to this DevGraph Tech Talk. This is a special edition. We're going to talk about Ruby mini applications in a series we call Ruby Unbundled. As you know, Rails generates a lot of stuff when you hit that generate button. And this is okay. It's an opinionated way to implement a web application. The good thing is any Rails developer generally knows where to look for things. As an example, I'm in my Ruby quiz application here, and I know that the images are going to be under app assets images. But a lot of this stuff you actually don't need. If you take a look at the directory structure, there's a lot of directories here. The vendor directory, probably you're not gonna use that. Storage, hmm, maybe. So thanks to some pioneering work by Nate Berkepec on lightweight Rails stacks, what we can do is pare down the Rails application to the bare bones, to the absolute bare minimum, and make it a lot simpler. If you look in your Rails application directory, there's a file that you probably haven't paid much attention to, the config.ru file. This really just runs your Rails applications, but the RU is a rack up file. So what is rack? Rack sits between your Rails application and your web server, Puma in my case. It provides an abstraction and does some request handling. It allows you to swap out the web server if you want. Now, if you wanna see what it's actually doing, you can run the rake middleware command. This will take a second, but it'll list all of the different request handlers that every request to your application goes through. This is gonna include things like logging, sessions, profiling, all kinds of good stuff. Now, if the config RU file seems like the equivalent of a Java main, you are correct. What it does, it pulls in everything else. It pulls in files that are in your slash config directory environment and secrets, for example. It also starts your web server process, so that's gonna to delegate to the controller, and of course we have our models in our view. Now if we wanna simplify things, let's take a look. Maybe we're not using a database so we can get rid of our model classes. The view, we don't have to separate that into a separate file. We can render directly from the controller. So let's do that. Configuration, we'll put it in line and let's just define the controller class in the same file while we're at it. We're down to one file now. Here is our config RU file. We've got an array of survey choices. We're gonna implement an instant poll. We extend the Rails application and we set all of the configuration in line, the bare bones, only what we need. We set our routes using code. We've only got a single survey index endpoint and we set the default header. This is to allow our application to be embedded into different web pages. If we look at the rest, we've got our inline controller, which is gonna to look to see if the form was submitted with an activity choice, keep track of the counts, and then render the HTML. This file is about 70 lines. Most of it's actually just the HTML that you need. And then after the form is submitted, we will show you what are the results of the survey, who has chosen what. At the very end, you have the app initialize and then the run survey app. You would find these in a typical config.ru file. So let's start up our server. I have a run script that we can use, which is just gonna run Puma. We're gonna use a static HTML file to test our mini application. Here is the iframe, and it's just gonna call my local rail server. So now we're ready to run our embedded poll. Here's our page, and this section right here is where our embedded mini rails app goes. What's our favorite weekend activity? We're gonna say gaming, we'll submit that, and then it shows us we're actually the first vote. If we run that again, we can say Netflix this time, and there you can see it's keeping track. So you can use this pattern to implement embedded apps, microservices. We did this in 70 lines of code, very straightforward. If you like this, click the subscribe button. We'll see you next time on the DevGraph Tech Talk series.